If you ever heard the term saponification and wondered what it meant, stick around because today we're going to be talking about what saponification is, how it works, and why it's important in your cleaning applications. Saponification is a class of chemical reactions where fats and oils react with a base to form carboxylate salts in an alcohol. When the carboxylate has a long enough chain to act as a surfactant, it's called soap. The word saponification actually comes from the Latin word for soap. So saponification means making soap. Now humans have been making soap for thousands of years through saponification. In ancient times, they would melt animal fats and mix it with various types of ashes to produce a soap-like product. Nowadays, things are a little more controlled but the same chemical reactions are at play. The general form of a saponification reaction is this. A fatty ester and an alkali are mixed to form a soap and a glycerol. A common example of this would be in the production of sodium stearate from stearin and sodium hydroxide. The stearin is cleaved at the three ester bonds, producing long-chained carboxylic acids, which is our soap, leaving behind glycerol. As you can probably imagine, the specific type of fatty ester and alkali used will affect the property of the final soap. Saturated fatty acids, like those found in animal fats, tend to produce harder soaps, whereas vegetable oils tend to produce softer, smoother soaps. The type of base used also affects the properties. Typical bases are sodium and potassium hydroxide, although others can be used to tune the properties of the soap. For electronics manufacturing, the chemistries, like the one you put in your inline or batch cleaner, designed for cleaning manufacturing residues like fluxes, can be tuned by taking advantage of the wide variety of fats and bases available. Not only can saponification be important in the making of a soap, it can also be a helpful tool in removing fatty oils. An alkaline solution can cause saponification of the residues you are trying to remove, turning them into soap and making them much easier to remove. That's why if you're having issues with the pH neutral cleaner, switching to a slightly alkaline solution might do the trick. All right, if you like that content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. You can also click that bell icon to be notified of future videos. Now, if you have any questions about saponification, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can send an email to askdradam at kaizen.com. Thanks again, and stay clean.